Okay, so this is the first video in this series, and all I'm going to talk about are the tools that I'm using. And this keeps changing over time, and hopefully I won't have to go back and edit this video anymore. The first thing is, is I'm going to create a web app. And of course, a web app is going to require Google. This is what I use for Google. Look at some of my bookmarks up here. I hope those don't bother you too much. Anyways, what I want to show is that I am not connected to the internet. And this is my development environment by choice. Um, I want to be able to develop whether the internet's available or not. And the way I do this is with XAMPP. XAMPP is a uh, free download. And what it does is it uh, creates a, an Apache server and a MySQL environment. Here you see uh, the Apache server and the MySQL environment running Tomcat, which doesn't apply to anything I'm doing here. Uh, these two here, my uh, Apache and MySQL. Um, so it acts as if I was on a internet server somewhere, but it's all done here locally. So those are both running. To see how that's done, this is what it looks like localhost. Localhost is my local Apache server, and here's what I've got served up. Now, uh, there's lots of tools here. This comes with the basic install, but I also want to show you the XAMPP directory. XAMPP is stored on my C drive. Here we've got the MySQL data, and we'll be looking at that later. But htdocs is the default folder. And here I went to index.php, which redirected me immediately to the XAMPP folder. And that's why you see this right here, the XAMPP folder. It comes with other tools like phpMyAdmin, which will allow you to create databases. But I'm not going to use that. Um, what I'm going to use is MySQL Workbench. MySQL Workbench here. This is again is a free download. Um, gives me more flexibility, and I actually like it. You probably can accomplish everything in PHP My Admin, but I can do the same thing here. I'm connected to the exact same server that I would uh, as if I was in PHP My Admin. In fact, here's the PHP My Admin tables, so they're all there. One thing I like about um, My SQL Workbench is the SQL queries I can save and use and analyze. But I also like this data modeling tool. Now this is a data model that comes um, with, the, with the download. And you can see it's quite extensive here with primary keys, foreign keys, connections, and whatnot. And what you'll do is you'll actually forward engineer, in other words, put them in the database. And again, I'll be going over that in an example. So, we have uh, Chrome, which I'll be using as my default web browser. Um, we have the XAMPP installation and the XAMPP control panel. The next tool is where I'll be editing code, and this is in NetBeans. NetBeans here, and I've got this kind of up here, is a um, tool for actually editing, where you, most people think of, of the programming. So if I go to this, and again, I'm skipping some instructions. But if I go to this area right here, my password manager, you can see it says, welcome to my password manager. And that means is where I'll do anything. Uh, here for that view, they want uh, a title here. And I'll just change it just to show you can. Change it to your password manager. Hit save, refresh the browser and it's now your password manager. So NetBeans is where I'm going to be doing uh, the actual coding or, uh, you know, in Yee. Now, here's another important thing that I want to mention in that this will be Yee based. And so if I go into this directory, you will find, let me back out here a little bit in my password manager, you see this framework Yee. It's about 23 megabytes. Includes some um, jQuery and other stuff al along with it, but Yi is the framework and tools I'll be using along with the G tool, which is part of Yi. Again, I'll be showing this a little later, but the framework you just download as a single file and we'll be using that later. The last thing is Git. Um, it's important to keep track of the versions I'm working on, um, where I'm at, and be able to revert when I need to start over. So here we've got Git, and uh, I can look at my repository, and it says here that I had my initial commit with all these files, and then I did some things, and here's some more files that I created. And you can even see if I go to, for example, this file here, um, you can see the changes I made. I deleted this line and added this line. 
I deleted this line. So that's nice that you can see that. Um, but the, the key here is, is that I can always reset the master branch and start over. And I like that. That's not without some uh, problems if you're not careful, but that is the point of Git. There's other things like branches and uh, merging of branches and other things that can be used for Git. In NetBeans, you have um, the option of committing right to uh, Git, and I'm going to show you why I probably will never do that. So anyways, those are the tools. The last tool here is uh, Cam Studio. Uh, oddly enough, the only one that costs any money. It's the least important, but it's for creating these videos. I tried again and again uh, to do things with free tools, just could not get it happen. So Cam Studio, I downloaded um, and I'm using that for creating these videos so that I can upload them. Um, that's all of the tools for now. And the next video, we will start going into the file structure set.